play very heartfelt music and that's what I, I love, that kind of music. That's blues, isn't it, really? It's, uh, it's from the heart, it's not a, you know? Well, so, you know what uh, Spanish tuning is, right? Um, I brush me up on it, well, <laughs> just, just so I get it, let it sink in my head a bit. What's the time? Keep an eye on the time too. That's ten after one. Okay, oh, all right, okay. All right, yep. Maybe another five or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish, so that's... Yeah, this is a... Uh... Open G. Open G, right, okay. I said, how come everybody plays in this tune and they call it Spanish? It didn't sound like Spanish. Spanish yeah. And he yeah. said, well, I'll show you. He goes. <laughs> oh, wow. Right, that makes sense now, but yeah. The real reason I think uh, I've been told is uh, this tuning, uh, I don't really know the history of it. It'd be interesting to know the history of all these tunings. Mm. Like in Hawaii, I came across a guy playing guitar and I said, can I try that? I knew it was in, it looked like it was in Spanish. I just wanted to make sure. He said, oh, you'll never be able to play this. You know, you play blues. This is." Hawaiian tuning, we yeah. call it taro patch. And I picked it up and immediately I knew it was open G. Yeah, and yeah. I started playing and he's like, he couldn't believe it. <laughs> that somebody's playing blues in his tuning. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> somewhere in back in the day, uh, people would learn this tune called Spanish Fandango. Mm -hmm. And it was like a dance song. Yeah. 
you, you must have like um, uh, say other guitarists that didn't know you played guitar, and then you just picked up the guitar and had a play. You must have like knocked them out a bit because. You know, because you are, I mean, most people would associate, you know, you, Charlie with a harmonica player, you know. Especially, say, here in Australia, that's for sure, you know, they'd be yeah. all going, oh yeah, Charlie's a harmonica player, but, you know, have, you, have you, oh, it's, it must have happened, you know, where people go, you know, like another famous guitar, like, I don't know, Taj Mahal or something like that, you know, it's just gone like, wow. I well, we recently played, played, you know, played together. He and I yeah. and Bobby Rush. Yeah, right. We all sat in a row playing yeah. guitar, and, and they hadn't known that I played guitar. And after yeah. we did our little show, I think we just did two tunes a piece. Yeah. Uh, Bobby and Todd said, "Man, we didn't know you played guitar, you know." And we had fun. Yeah. Uh, but it's really hard to think of myself as a a guitar player. I just mm. I play some old style blues. And uh, can get by with it a little bit, but oh, and sometimes I play with the band for like yeah. one tune. Mm. But uh, mostly I just like to have fun with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, that's good. So, yeah. so um, harp. I mean, does harmonica playing make you feel better than when you play a guitar? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I get a lot of enjoyment. I'm that. trying to ask really different questions here, so I home. don't sound Almost like I'm every not. day I play at home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just for my own satisfaction. So I remember I, I saw um, a thing on YouTube with you and you were, um, someone was going through your house, you know, and uh, oh. and you were picking up different instruments and saying, oh, I got this, you know, you know, on your travels yeah. somewhere around the world, I've got this kind of, oh, I'm collecting. You know, instruments when I go around the place. Yeah. And uh, you must have a, quite a collection like that, you know. Oh, not really. A lot of it's just mostly junk. But yeah. <laughs> one little thing I did find in Brazil is a fretless four string instrument, uh, a homemade thing. Yeah. But man, it's got the great tone. I love playing it. And since some weird tuning, I've managed to keep it in the tuning it came in, mm. uh, which I don't know what it is. It's an open thing um, and actually I used it in a, a movie there's a, a horror movie called Pig Hunt yeah and oh, I played a monarchy in it too and I, I'm in the movie I actually yeah. have a, a what part do you play what, what? I play a guy that owns a little country store yeah. and Henrietta you can see her putting like canned corn on the shelf behind me yeah. and giving dirty looks to these people that come in and they come in looking for directions to some place and I tell them how to go and yeah. many people end up getting hurt later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Some, yeah, yeah. But I did some playing in the background and one scene, they call it the fireside scene, there's people sitting around talking and I'm playing that little Brazilian instrument in the background. Yeah. Oh, a little cool. trivia for you. Yeah, I've got to check that out. Yeah. I don't want to say Have you seen that movie? Nah, nah. Well, it's not a lot on substance. Yeah, yeah. But it's a, it's a horror movie. It's, yeah. it's a fun. Yeah. And strangely enough, it seems like every time I see it, I like it better. Yeah. Uh, and this is it's a friend of mine, Robert Mailer Anderson, uh, wrote the script. Him and his bro uh, cousin, uh, Zach, uh, Zach uh, wrote it together. What, and so they just said, oh, I'll, you know, said, hey, I've, I've a, got a part for you. Charlie's will be just yeah, perfect, you know? Something like that. <laughs> it's some hippies and uh, veterans and dope dealers and all these other misfits come together. <laughs> I don't want to give away the. Yeah, no, plot, but, oh, but, uh, yeah, no. I just did one of those, yeah, no's again. Bikers, a lot of bikers. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. I know some Hells Angels that saw the movie and said, hey man, next time you call us for the bike parts, we'll be. That's <laughs> okay. Well, um, it's been excellent having a chat, Charlie. Um, I am, um, you know, not only harmonica player, guitarist, singer, horror movie actor. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think you got it all covered. Well, yeah. it's an interesting thing. There's a little town in Northern California called Boonville, and they have their own language called Bootling. <laughs> they can 
really, I'm not making this up. You can look up Boonwing. And uh, Robert Mailer Anderson is from Boonville. So in the the lines he gave me, I actually speaks of Boonwing. Yeah. And as far as I know, it's the first and only time Boonwing has ever been used in a movie. Yeah. What has it did? It I can't remember the lines now, yeah. but there's like... Uh, like kind of what it is. Yeah, one word is a Kimmy, and I forget what the what the Kimmy means. Mm. Uh, Kimmy. You'll have to see the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm going to get that for sure. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm on that. So next we get that. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. No worries. You ready? Yeah, we <laughs> should probably we should probably go to the wildlife park. Oh, the one one scene in the movie where I pull out, pull out a switchblade. Uh, I happened to have it in my pocket, but I didn't tell the producer, and I, I just figured I'm gonna just pull it out anyhow. Yeah. A bit of improv. And they thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> and there's a whole thing where I take this uh, pin up off the wall and lay it down, and I take a magic marker to draw a map using the lady's body. And that was kind of invented too. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That was fun. Yeah. Improvising. Yeah, a bit of improvising. Excellent. Yeah. So we got 10 minutes to, yeah. to go on our big excursion. Yeah. It's going to be good. So next time, folks, <laughs> there'll be more. Yeah, later. Stay tuned for more. I'm doing these blogs because I love blues music, and I know you guys do too. So let's share it. Share it to all your friends and show them the power of blues music.